Hello, welcome back. Today's uh, video is another top 10. Um, they're quite difficult to do these ones, but they're, qu they're quite enjoyable at the same time. This one's going to be about what I consider to be the top 10 best looking ZX Spectrum games. Now I am aware that just because something looks brilliant, it might not necessarily play brilliantly. So this is not a top 10 best video. Uh, sorry, best games video. I've already done that one. And this is based purely on my choices. Now, Going straight into it, the first one is Myth from System 3, uh, which was released in 1989. Now, this is a beautiful looking game. Um, the graphics are quite small, but the animation on both the character and the monsters, uh, etc., is really, really something else. It's um, Every time I sort of load it up to play, it's, it's always um, great to look at, even now, sort of like 27 years after its release. Just a wonderful, wonderful game. Um, it's very hard. <laughs> I've never um, got very far in this game. Uh, and that can be said for literally every game that's ever been released, as we all know that by now. But just look at some of the effects on uh, display there. It's absolutely brilliant. Now, um, check it out if you haven't, um, because you will enjoy it. You will wow at the graphics. They're, they're brilliantly animated. Now, I'm going to move on to the next one. Um, again, this game just oozes charm. It's Heartland from Odin in 1986. And it's really, really lovely looking game, sort of trademark Odin game, really. They were all really uh, good looking games. The Robin of the Wood, Heart, sorry, this is Heartland, isn't it? Uh, uh, Nodes of Yesod, Ark of Yesod. And this game it has just got a wonderful character about it and uh, atmosphere and style. It's just a um, lovely game to watch. It's to play. It's good but it's got a bit of an awkward control system which I've always found a bit off-putting um, so I don't visit this one as often as um, some of the other games that I, I sort of play but anyway it's a stunning looking game um, and again check it out why don't you now moving on to the next one this is probably the best loading screen of any game it's considered I think to be one of the best games um, as well for the spectrum it's Rex from Martech, uh, which was released in 1988. Now, again, um, it's f full of colour, full of detail, brilliant animation. Um, just a wonderful, uh, wonderful uh, example of design, invention and imagination. It's, uh, it's a great looking game. Again, like Myth, it's a bit, I find it a bit of a pig to play. But I can recognise, you know, the, the sort of skill that's gone into it. And again, it's it's such a beautiful game. Um, really, really nice to look at. Every time I load it up, I sort of uh, I go, wow, look at that. And um, But really, really difficult. So we move on. Uh, Stormlord from Houston Consultants, which was released in 1989. It's a Rath Keko game. His games are always good looking. Uh, this has got to make the list because it's got topless fairies in it. Um, he must have thought uh, way back when, when he was coding this, ah, oh, Baz might do a top 10 good looking games video at some point in the future. I'd best put some topless fairies in it. Um, it's, again, it's, it's very, very colourful. Everything's, um, the attention to detail is, is immaculate. It looks good. It's, a, again, a bit difficult to play. I keep saying that, don't I? Um, but Raf Keko games usually are quite hard anyway. The only one I was ever consistently any good at was Exelon. So, let's move on to the next game, which is Fairlight from The Edge in 1985. This is the 128K version. Though. Now, isometric, um, obviously Night Law had set the standard um, for isometric games, etc. Uh, but I think Fairlight has just got so much atmosphere about it. Um, and so much character that um, I always found Night Law was um, lacking. Really, this game um, plays as well as it uh, as well as it uh, plays as good as it looks, even. Um, and it's just a you know stunning, stunning looking game. Even now, it's um, it's really nice to look at. You know, you can see the character's face, you can see his expression, you can see the just lots of stuff, just the detail in the backgrounds as well as you can see in this room here. Great game, great looking game too. Now this could be sort of 
either or game really school days or back to school um now you might think this is a bit of an odd choice to put in for a best looking games bit but i've done this because of the characters in it now the main characters your character the other characters you know you've got um boy wonder you've got the bully you've got einstein the swat and all the teachers although they're really small they've got such character you can see character in their faces einstein looks like someone you want to punch in the face uh, boy wonder um looks like a twat as he is the bully looks like a bully and your bloke's got a kind of smug look on his face all the time and the teacher's details are brilliant as well so we move into dandare 3 the escape now a, a great looking game and this is one of those ones uh, an example of that i said just because a game's great uh, sorry a game looks great doesn't mean it is great and this is an example of that it's from virgin software in 1990 programmed by probe dave perry um etc and although it looks great I, f I find it lacks something in gameplay um but as an example of what people could push the spectrum to do it's great as is the next game coming up in the list which is going to follow now um extreme again by probe and this was released by digital <laughs> digital integration in 1991 now again as an example of what um talented people could pull out of the spectrum it's fantastic it's very similar graphically to dan dare 3 um again i don't think it plays fantastically well but it does look absolutely beautiful um nice big chunky colorful sprites uh it's just a bit repetitive in the gameplay um not an awful lot of fun to play i don't remember this game from back in the day i just found this one purely by accident having a flick through uh, world of spectrum one day but beautiful looking game anyway got given that so we move into the penultimate uh video midnight resistance from ocean um i love the way the graphics the big chunky graphics i don't remember the um the arcade game at all um but the graphics in the spectrum version are, 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 are gorgeous you know even though it's black and yellow and and all that you know i can sort of uh, live with that it's uh, it, again it's a uh, really really appealing graphics like cartoon style um lots and lots of color in it bear in mind the spectrum is not supposed to be able to do color that well but the programmers behind this have uh, overcome the spectrum's limitations quite uh, quite fantastically and midnight resistance as well as being a, a game that plays really well it looks really good too and um deservedly sort of makes this list for sort of like keeping the character of the well i say it's keeping the character of the arcade game i've never played the arcade game but it's reviewed very well and so therefore i presume that uh, people that do know the arcade game um think it is a, an accurate uh, rendition of it anyway going to move out of this bit in just a second and go into the final video in the list which is oh what is it hang on it's coming up now aha right here we go yeah it's batman the cape crusader now there was batman the movie um batman um what do you call it uh, the, the john ripman bernie drum and isometric game and then there was this one the cape crusader now i've chosen this because of its comic book style i think it looks absolutely fantastic um so much fun um you know so much care has gone into sort of presenting it in this way it looks the part you know it plays quite well too it's not brilliant i don't think but it plays really really well now these top 10 lists like i say are really really hard to do and I've had to it's changed four or five times if you like uh, the video then please let me know um it would be great if you would subscribe to my channel um and join in any further discussions we have here are some honorable mentions games that were uh, in the list at one point but then didn't make it and thanks ever so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it take care of yourselves enjoy the rest of your weekend thank you